New research suggests people with invisible disabilities are being discriminated against because they don't look disabled. A survey has been conducted by the charity Crohn's and Colitis UK, which found that many people with one of those conditions worry about using accessible facilities in public because their disability is not immediately apparent. Sky's Inzaman Rashid has this report. So this is me. Um, I'm really nervous about this. In 2017, Georgina was diagnosed with Crohn's disease at just the age of 19. After multiple operations and years of suffering with pain, she had no clue how difficult life could be with an invisible disability. It's quite hard because people can be quite shut off to that. If you do explain it, if they can't see it, they don't believe it. And that's one of the hardest things because you then feel like you're moaning over nothing because they make it out that it's nothing. Um, so you play it down, which inevitably, especially with Crohn's disease, makes you more poorly because you have to tend to it and you have to be aware of it all the time. Like hundreds of thousands of people with invisible disabilities across the UK, Georgina has fallen victim to discrimination for using disabled facilities. I've had some people say to me, while well, I've been in the queue for a disabled toilet, you know, why are you in the queue? Because I have a colostomy bag. Well, no, you don't. Old people have that. Or that's not, you know, you're not disabled. You're too young to be disabled. And I shouldn't have to, um, you know, explain myself to someone. In a survey conducted by the charity Crohn's and Colitis UK, they found 70% of people with the conditions have had an accident in public or experienced unpleasant symptoms because someone wouldn't let them jump the toilet queue. Over one third of people with Crohn's or colitis said they felt awkward in social situations because of anxiety around toilet access. And nearly half said they had been prevented from going to restaurants or pubs because they fear discrimination about their condition. But it's the stigma of these conditions this charity is tackling. In this particular year, we're working with restaurants and pub chains, for example, so that they can get the signage right on those toilets, which really makes the point that, you know, not every disability is visible. And that puts a question mark in the public's mind, makes them sit back and think, uh, well, I might need to let somebody use this facility. I keep trying, and then I get back up and I get kicked back down again. Georgina, who has to live with Crohn's disease for the rest of her life, decided to share her story with the world to promote the understanding of her painful condition. There needs to be a whole opening of learning about this, and I think the people who need to do the teaching are us, the sufferers ourselves, um, and people need to, to listen to that. But still, thousands of people with invisible conditions are suffering in silence, being subjected to discrimination because of the stigma and misunderstanding around their condition. What they're hoping for is to make the invisible visible. Inzaman Rashid, Sky News.